transgender cyclist Emily Bridges has been denied permission to compete in the women's national Omnium sporting event after it was ruled that her testosterone levels had not been consistently low enough to allow her to take part as a female. Meanwhile fiercely opinionated broadcaster Piers Morgan, who has been campaigning against transgender people competing in women's sport for years, took to Twitter in celebration. Finally, a ray of common sense shines up from the virtue signaling insanity, he wrote jubilantly in view of almost 8 million followers. If she had taken part, 21-year-old Emily would have been up against some formidable competition, including five times Olympic champion Laura Kinney. However it is believed that those who were assigned male at birth face physical advantages against those who were born female, including levels of the hormone testosterone. Although the hormone is present in both males and females, it is men who have significantly higher amounts of it, and the substance, which promotes the building of muscle, is one of the factors in men having an athletic advantage. The union cyclist Hunter Nacional requires their contestants to have had testosterone levels that are below 5 nanomoles per liter for at least a year prior to competing. However the association has confirmed that Emily does not meet the criteria and British Cycling subsequently issued a statement to say so. It read, We have now been informed by the Union Cyclist Internacional UCI, that under their current guidelines Emily is not eligible to participate in this event. Piers had earlier hit out over the victory of transgender swimmer Leah Thomas in the 500-yard freestyle swimming contest in the USA's NCAA championships, deeming it unfair. World Athletics President Lord Sebastian Coe has taken the same stance as Piers, arguing in his professional capacity that decisions to allow transgender athletes and sports people to compete is placing the integrity of women's sport under threat. He has insisted that gender cannot trump biology. Great Britain Olympic swimmer Sharon Davis who originally hit out at British Cycling after they initially allowed Emily to compete, had said that biological females had been thrown under the PC bus and that better ways should be found of being inclusive that did not put women's chances in jeopardy. For their part, British Cycling stated they understood that the concept of fairness is essential in elite sports. They added they were calling for a coalition to share, learn and understand more about how we can achieve fairness in a way that maintains the dignity and respect of all athletes. Piers has been one of the most vocal opponents within the media about transgender competition in the world of women's sport, and has spoken about it at length in his book Wake Up, written during the coronavirus lockdown. However his stance faced opposition on Twitter from at FreshPrince84, who wrote back, We get it that you don't like trans people, why this campaign against people who just want to be free to take part in everything we all love? Yet at MC's Rue fired back firmly, only because their testosterone hasn't been low enough for long enough. Note that the required levels for TW are still multiples of what female testosterone levels are. She added, at British Cycling are still being weaselly about this, no mention of women or females in their statement. At the underscore Javanildo concurred, if Brock Lesnar's testosterone level dropped to a woman's level, do you not think he would still have an advantage over women in a physical sport? He can keep hitting the gym and staying huge because he was born differently. His bones won't get smaller, neither will muscle. Meanwhile at Aarhus Solomon favored a separate category just for trans people, declaring, let the trans float in one boat, 